All right, so I, I wake up and I realize that I can't see any of my loved ones. All I have to do is wake up to see where I'm at. I can't see my loved ones. It drives me fucking crazy. Depression for me is like having the flu. It's not just a pressure headache. It's being sick to my stomach and fucking puking. It's... it's It's not fun. It's not entertaining. All I needed was for the cops to do their fucking jobs. They wouldn't. No matter what, they fucking wouldn't. I said if nobody went in with me, they were going to do the things that they did. And I was right. I should never have had to break the fucking law. Somebody should have actually given a shit. One of these agencies that we pay these millions of dollars in taxes to every year. One of these places should have actually had the services that they're supposed to. What the fuck are we paying these people for? We're paying the cops not to do their jobs. We're paying the public pretenders not to do their jobs. We're paying the judges not to do their fucking jobs. These are fucking bullies. They bully the poor. And you want to bitch about black people. With all due respect, it's not black people who did this to me. Yeah, a couple of the officers in Boulder were black. One of the officers that I spoke to between the 1st and 6th of January last year was black. He was bald, too. But most of the people that I encountered and had to deal with were white. My public pretenders were all white. My judges were all white. Most of the officers were white. What these people did is... Immoral is all fuck. But then you take a look at what happened? I mean, you got this pretty white girl who's actually an adult. <laughs> Her friends fucking harassed me for an entire year before she died. I begged her to put a stop to it. So I make a lot of decisions that are based off of having to believe somebody. It's not that I want to. I know these people aren't trustworthy, but I need to believe somebody will come through. <laughs> With my dad, that was probably the worst idea ever, going to my dad's last year. I had to get the hell out of Shannon Alvarado's, though she was driving me fucking nuts. She's not a bad person. I didn't plan on being there as long as I was. I was waiting on somebody to keep their word. Now here at the Starbucks, I should have made a telephone call yesterday morning. But my cell phone got stolen. I needed to make a phone call to get my phone back. But I needed to get some information first. The people at Starbucks told me that, well, one employee in specific named Jerome told me that uh, they don't have cameras. So it wouldn't do me any good. <laughs> they couldn't identify the person who stole it from me. That really, really fucked my day up yesterday. I found out last night from another employee here that that, that man had actually lied to me. I was trying to trying to get the police to look at the security footage, but no, that didn't get to happen. I made decisions based on lies. 
Just like when I made decisions with Miss Shelley, I made decisions hoping she was telling the truth. It turned out Miss Shelley was a liar. Same thing with Danica Garner. Christine Buhit, she was pretty gung-ho until they gave her free housing and then she folded. They gave her free shit, you know. I stick up for your rights because I can. I have nothing to lose. I can't lose my house. I don't have one. I can't lose my kids. I don't have any. <coughs> Those of you with kids, I fully expect most of you to hide behind your children instead of do the right thing. I might puke. I hate this. So I gotta try to get a hold of the cops this morning. I spent about an hour trying to figure out how to get their TacomaSafe.org fucking thing to work. What kind of a fucked up person would lie like that? That's your own feller. Why would he do that? What motivation could he possibly have for lying to me about the security cameras? Oh yeah, laziness. <laughs> a lot of people don't care about the homeless. It doesn't register to them that these things that keep us alive... These things that allow us to communicate with our loved ones. These are fucking important. But it doesn't matter to you because homeless people just need to get jobs, right? I had a job almost from when I turned 18 to 2015. I mean, that... Twenty years of working there, you know? Twenty years of working. And I was homeless for most of it. I didn't choose homelessness. I didn't choose how people uh, treated me over being homeless. What I chose is to work. I worked fucking hard to get out of that. There's a lot of people who were witnesses to that. Then there's the people who never bothered to find out, and I get to hear their judgments. <sighs> they don't judge themselves by that measure, they only judge me by that measure. I tried for an entire year to get someone to actually help before Natalie died. I just wanted to see my loved ones and everything that the police have done since then. <sighs> go out of their way not to collect evidence there is evidence that we can never take a look at now because the police refuse to do their fucking jobs that phone I had when Natalie died I spent over six months trying to get a fucking officer to look at that I talked to Molly Smith and she was uh the one who went in with me to make Officer Jared Hahn do his job. She told me that uh, she was pretty pissed off at them because she had tried to uh, ask about my case. This is about a week after all that bullshit. And Molly had asked the officer about my case. And Officer Hahn told her, uh, asked her if she knew anything about what was going on with it. And she said no. She was just there to provide moral support. So, Officer Hahn decided not to do any investigating. But it wasn't just him. It was his boss, Sheriff Scott DaCosta. 
I gotta try to get a hold of some police officers this morning, and it makes me sick to my stomach to even think about that. I gotta tell myself that these are human beings, they're not pigs with badges. They might actually help, they might actually care. But the thing is, just like me making bad decisions based on misinformation and lies, I can't really expect the police to make better decisions, can I? They're not going to. The only way for them to make an educated decision is to look at all of the evidence and they're not gonna. My phone getting stolen yesterday. It's got a lot of evidence on it that's important stuff. I'm moving around from place to place because with the things that I was accused of and the hell that I've gone through, I have an entire life of going through this shit already. I'm fucking sick of it. I'm tired of being everybody's goddamn scapegoat. I'm tired of people poking me with a stick and being pissed off when I poke them back. There's no consequences for them, but there's non-stop consequences for me. I don't get to see my loved ones. All of these people get to see theirs. One bitch, she wanted to get on and fucking complain at me. You know, I, I don't get to see my grandma. I'm like, fuck, you live with three kids. Three kids that are yours and a husband that's yours. I wasn't separated from one or two of my loved ones. I was separated from all of them. I don't have kids. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. It's just me. The only person I talk to is me. There's nobody else to fucking talk to. I'm fucking scared shitless of people. They do fucked up shit when you're different and I'm different. I'm not pretty. I got funny twitches. I've been abused for them funny twitches my entire fucking life. Just gotta pray somebody actually gives a shit. Not somebody... Not somebody like Katie Cahill who's gonna claim that she'll be my lawyer and she'll represent me in court. And then... A year later, she's like... You know, blah, 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 two days, blah, 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 blah. No, it wasn't two days, Katie. It was over a year. And you wanted me to take down that video where I was pissed off about the fact that you took an entire goddamn year to do nothing. And I'm some sort of a terrible person for this. No, Katie, I wasted a lot of time believing your bullshit. If you spent one-tenth as much time writing a police report as you had spent typing pretty fucking words at me, things could have happened differently. <coughs> you saw the bullying against me and you did nothing. You saw the harassment and threats and you did nothing. When I threaten these people back, I'm some sort of terrible person. I'm not a terrible person. I'm somebody who's going through hell. Now, it's already been proven that the officers that I spoke out about, yeah, they're not good people. Officer Lola Ty assaulted at least six people after he assaulted me. <laughs> two of the officers who assaulted me killed a man just two months later. Manslaughter is what they were charged with. So right now, I need to puke. I wake up sick like this every fucking day. Every day. And these people aren't separated from their families, so they never end up feeling like this. 
they don't end up spending all of their time stuck talking to themselves because they can't go see their loved ones. They can't go see their familiarity. There's a lot of people that uh, I had hoped would come forward. People like Cody Abram. I never did that dude wrong. <coughs> Most of these people I had never done wrong. That's why most of these folks, when it comes to talking shit, when I don't do exactly what they want, when they want it, they get to that shit talking. And none of them have situations between them and I that they can draw on because I didn't do them any wrong. They have to go back and throw rumors at me. Well, you, Sean, you did this and Sean, you did that. No, I didn't. Were you fucking there for that? Were you there? Then how the fuck would you know? Amanda, were you in that room 24 hours a day to know exactly what I was doing every moment of the day that I was up there in Montana? Of fucking course not. But then you want to fucking slander my name as if you had been. Fuck you, Amanda. Fuck you, Alicia Bollinger. Fuck you, Jerry Sparks. Fuck everybody who didn't fucking kill me because you sure as shit didn't help me. I needed your words. I needed you to be honest about who I am in real life. Not who I am when I'm fucking frustrated from all the goddamn abuse that I've endured. Meanwhile, this, uh, Teresa lady, she endured the same shit I did. She's fighting the same fight I am. Except she's only fighting it for rape victims. I was a rape victim. Are you gonna fight for my rights? Miss Mycelia? But it wasn't, uh, rape it's the important part of her story. The important part of her story is how the police treated her. I'd been speaking out about the police treating rape victims the way that they treated this young woman for years. And the way that they treat homeless people for years. And the way that they treat minorities for years. I'm fighting for their rights. Are they fighting for mine? These are supposed to be our universal rights. I get tired of black folks coming up and telling me how much I owe them because of the color of their skin and because my ancestors owned their ancestors. No, they didn't. Matter of fact, if you're of African descent, my ancestors were your ancestors' slaves. <coughs> I don't know the right thing to do. I mean, I, I, I know the morally right thing to do. I also know they haven't allowed it. They've done everything they can to prevent it. Who is they? The police? The courts? The Bollingers? I was a good man. But people pretend I'm a bad man because I spoke out when abused. Because I screamed at the top of my lungs to be heard. <laughs> God damn it, if I'm going to be fucking abused, give me an honest fucking day in court. Fuck this goddamn country. And fuck all of you who support it. You fucking cowards, you fucking bullies.